I promise you, this world does not survive on oxygen, but love. You who worry so much, you so worried about delimiting your space of it, so you can take deeper breaths than others. You, my dear, are growing weak in the art of loving, but then have it. For what good does clean air do to blood that is toxic? The void is ever hungry. So then, have it. For what good does fresh air do to lungs that no heart plumps blood to? So then, just have it. But know the truth. Fence your heart and survive that way before you can tell me that it's okay to fence your brothers and sisters out of a land that is home to them. The earth does not choose between earthlings and we have no right to. The day we resign to this new and natural state of things is the day this earth will no longer hold humans in it. So fence your hearts and survive that way before you can tell me that it's okay the soil does not refuse any hand. The, the rain does not fall on a few chosen ones. The sun does not hide at a specific color of eyes. And there's not a single shade of skin immune to the fire. The soil does not refuse any hand. Yet we fence the land and tell our brothers and sisters that a specific soil does not want them. That they cannot grow where we stand. Is it not the root we're standing on? I ask. Then, who told you that their seeds cannot flourish in their home? How can you tell them that they are not welcome in a place that is their own? And how can you judge them? For crossing the sea of death to try and get to the land of their murder. How can you judge them when we have never made sense in the way we treat our sisters and our brothers to start with? And that's how the world becomes a mess, since anything was worth work, no argument in our defense stands. And to make matters worse, you act as if being a racist is natural to a human body, to a human heart. Isn't the contradiction killing you inside? No one can change the mixed DNA of Mother Earth and FYI, it's in your blood as well. So if you only want this moment, breathe, have it. But if you want a future where humans can live in peace, then please love. Thank you.